Hey everybody, welcome to Tech Tutorials with Mr. Corwin. Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about this program called Audacity. Audacity is used to record audio. Uh, you can use it to create podcasts, you can use it to create music, any of those things that require an audio editor. Uh, later on, you might use this to edit audio before putting it into a movie, especially if you're one of my students. All right, let's talk a little bit about Audacity. Let's start with the interface, how you move around. Now, if you open up Audacity, your screen might look a little bit different than this. And the reason for that is all of these menus move around to fit your needs. So if you're looking at it and you're like, well, mine looks nothing like what you're showing me. Here's what I want you to do. You're going to go up to view, go down to toolbars, and then reset toolbars. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. Let's start with what are we looking at here? Well, one of the most prominent features are these monitoring stations. Now, you'll notice that as I'm talking, this one is moving back and forth. That's because it's monitoring the input or the sound that's coming in through my microphone. You can see that the louder I talk, the further to the right that bar moves. Uh, if I talk too loud, you can see it starts to move over into the red. And that's what you want to try to avoid while you're recording. Now, right next to the input monitoring is the output monitoring. If I were to hit play, this is the playback level. You'll be able to see uh, how loud things are playing back at. Now, right to the right of that, you've actually got two sliders. One that just controls the playback volume, what you're listening to. But this one controls how much uh, volume is uh, picked up by the microphone. So you'll notice that as I slide this over to the right, all of a sudden that bar uh, is showing up in the red. Now that's something we want to avoid. So as I continue to talk, I'm just gonna move this down until I'm not in the red anymore. So that is those two options. Now to the right of that, you've got a lot of different tools. And if you hover over the tool, you'll notice a little tool tip will pop up and tell you what it is. So for example, this one is cut. If you hover over this one, you see it's copy. This one is paste. Hey, we've got an undo option over here. There's a lot of different tools over here that you can play around with. The magnifying glasses over here, for example, are all obviously zoom. All right, so over here on the left, these are the controls we really wanna pay attention to but not quite yet because I forgot to tell you about these. If you take a look right here, this uh, option here will uh, determine which microphone you're using. So for example, I've got the built-in microphone that's uh, in my computer. Uh, these are not always the best microphones. So I went out and purchased a, a slightly better microphone. So I'm going to make sure that that one is the one that is selected here. Now, because I am only recording audio, uh, my voice, I'm going to select mono here uh, because I don't have uh, someone else talking. So we don't really need to know where I'm standing. We also don't have multiple instruments. Uh, when you record just your voice, Typically, it sounds better if you just do it in mono. And then you'll notice up here it stopped moving around. That's because it stopped monitoring. So I just need to click here, and then all of a sudden, look, it's monitoring my recording again. Okay, over here we've got uh, what looks like a tape deck. I just showed my age. Uh, a CD player? No, maybe a, hey, I know what it might look like. It might look like an iPhone. Anyway. If you're looking over here, you got pause, play, stop, uh, fast or rewind, uh, fast forward, 
and you've got record. And I'm going to show you what all the differences of those are now. So when I hit record, you'll notice that a track appears in Audacity and all of a sudden you can see that I am recording my voice. Now, pause, if I want to pause what I'm saying, let's say I need to cough or uh, my wife walks in, I hit pause and all of a sudden the recording stops. Uh, when I hit pause again, you'll notice it starts recording again, but it's still recording on that same track. Well, Mr. Corbin, what do you mean the same track? Well, if I hit stop right here, I've now stopped recording. If I hit record again, you'll notice, oh, look, a second track pops up. And all of a sudden, in my ears, I'm hearing what I had recorded before. And that's really annoying. So what I'm going to do here is hit mute and that mutes that top track. And you know it's muted because it turned gray. So that's the difference between stop and pause. If you hit pause, you can resume on that same track. If you hit stop, when you hit record again, it's going to start a new track. Okay, so let's hit stop right here. And you'll notice that I'm going to unmute this track. And if I go back and play now, you're going to hear both of those things. You'll, you'll notice, notice oh, that look, a, track a second track audacity. pops up. And, and all, all of a sudden, sudden you well, that sounds awful and isn't very helpful. So I'm going to delete both these tracks. And you notice I delete the track by just clicking that little X in the upper left hand corner of the track. And let's go ahead and create a new track again. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is Monday, October 12th, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements. And I hit stop. I can go back and listen to that, see if I like it by hitting play. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is Monday, October 12th, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements. Okay, that sounded all right, uh, but I think I need some background music. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to File, Import, and audio and then it pulls this up i'm gonna go to my desktop and tech intro and hey look i've got some music right here that i think might sound okay in the background so i'm gonna go ahead and double click on that and look i've got a new track underneath it so if i go ahead and hit play it sounds like this <laughs> Now, hopefully you notice some problems right off the bat. First of all, if you look over here, we now have two little red dots. And what that means is it, basically it was too loud. Also, hopefully you notice that the sound of the music uh, took out my voice. So what I'm going to do here is you can see here it, I can decrease the volume of that track. And then if I hit play again. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is Monday, October 12th, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements. All right, now that I'm ready to go ahead and save my project, until next time, I go up to file and save project. This dialog box is going to go open up. I'm going to go to where I want to save it. I'm going to call this audacity example and hit save. Now it's important to realize that is just saving this project so that I can open it up next time. It's not creating an audio file. If I wanted to create an audio file that I open up into another application, maybe an MP3, I'd go to export, but we're gonna go into exporting in a later lesson. So don't worry about that for now. I hope you found this lesson interesting or informative or I don't know, 
something. If you did, please consider hitting like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.